Perfect. And we're ready to rock and roll. Let's go make your way to your chair. Of course, if you prefer to stay standing at any point during this class, that's always an option. Sit, stand, do what feels good for you. I'm going to start seated. Uh, we'll do some of the class standing and then usually finish up back on the chair again uh, towards the end. So if you are sitting like I am, wiggle around, find those sit bones, and then take a moment to kind of tilt the hips so the tailbone anchors down. And you can do that standing as well, just a little tiny hip tilt so the tailbone anchors down. And then we lift at the front, lift that belly button, feel the abs tighten up in the front, feel the spine lengthen, take a breath and drop those shoulders. Take another breath. Exhale, awesome. Start to bend your elbows and press your palms behind you. So bend, little quarter turn of the wrists. Each time palms are up, palms are down. And we're just bringing some movement into our arms, into the upper body for three, two, one more time. And from up top, we'll start to reach, big long stretch forward, one, and then the other, and then both for two and one. Good, one big stretch, the other arm stretch, both arms reach forward, pull back again. Good, one, the other, and two, and one more time. Here we go, one, and then the other, and then two, and one. Go ahead, take a big deep breath, reach for the sky. Exhale, bring it down. Do that again. And I'm just gonna let someone in from the weight room. Good. Big deep breath, arms to the side, big stretch. Exhale, arms come down. Good, we're reaching to the side now. Follow your hand with your head. Good, rotating from the neck, just bringing some movement into the neck as well. Looking from side to side, reach and reach. And one more time. Now we take that reach up overhead and follow your hands with your eyeballs. Good. Excellent. Reach. And one more time, big reach and down. Good, take it to some shoulder rolls now. Just breathing easy, sitting or standing tall. Always thinking about that length through your torso. Fantastic, good, shoulder rolls forward. That should feel good. Good, keep rolling those shoulders. I'm gonna let someone else in here. Awesome, welcome. Perfect, and now with the shoulders, just a straight shrug up and down. All the way up, all the way down. Two, one. This time, big shrug up and then follow with the elbows, the wrists, the fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, bring it all down. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. One more time, deep breath in, big stretch and out awesome big deep breath arms to the side exhale bring it down we're gonna reach underneath and just bring that knee up wherever it feels comfortable at the ankle you're gonna pedal that heel or pedal pedal the foot i guess you'd say <laughs> point the toe down pull the toe back like you're pushing the gas pedal here good for three two and one, finish with your toes pulling back towards your shin without moving your knee. Just give me a little wave with the bottom of your foot, just side to side. Excellent, good. And then take that and roll it all the way around for five, four, three, two, and one. The other way, remember we're not moving the knee, all the actions happening at the ankle for two more. And one more, and plant that foot. Take a deep breath. Lengthen out the spine again. Exhale, hold it. And we just pump that toe, pull it back, pump it down, and back. Good. Press 
and pull for three, two, and one more foot is flexed. Give me a little wave, keep waving that foot. I'm gonna let someone else into class. Awesome. Good, okay, 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 start to circle it. Try to keep a nice tall spine. Good, it's easy to wanna to slouch forward on this. Stay nice and tall, circle the other way now for five, four, three, two, and one. That felt nice, good. Sitting up tall or standing up tall, whichever you're doing, just do it tall <laughs> and start to lift one knee and then the other. Really hinging at that hip there. Just lifting the knee straight up and down for three, two, and one. Good, now without lifting the knee quite so high, we're just gonna go out and in, other side, out and in. Perfect, keep those hip bones pointing straight forward. Shoulders straight ahead, brace the abs so you're not tempted to just swing your body, but you're intentionally holding yourself tall and straight ahead, taking that knee out to the side. One more time each side, and bring the knees back up in front. Nice high knees for five, four, three, two, and one more time. Good, again, don't lift that knee quite so high, but just a little bit to straighten, and then wake up those quads, lift, straighten, and then bringing some movement into the knees, up, out, back, and down, good. And again, it's tempting to lean back on this. Makes it feel a lot easier. We don't want it to be easy. Awesome. Good, sit tall, sit strong. Two. One more each side. Awesome, back to those high knees, pick it up, pick it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch your leg out in front now, heel to the ground, just extend, extend. Out, in, out, in, let's pick up the pace. Good, for five, four, Three, two, coming back to those high knees in one. Let's go pick it up nice and high for five, four, three, two. Perfect, one more. Keep the hip bones pointing straight ahead. Take it out, in, out, in. Excellent, keep going. Really building some strength in through our core by sitting up straight. Standing up straight, whatever you're doing. One more, back to the high knees. High knees for five, four, three, two, and one. Little kicks, control, straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Nice, tall, awesome. Keep it going, keep it going. Three, Two, yes, and one, back to the knees. Let's go, high knees for five, four, keep that chest up, chin up for three, two, excellent. Here we go, heel digs, we add some arms, we reach, we reach. Out, in, out, in, good, keep it going, keep it going. In two. We come back to the knees. Let's go, high knees, high knees for five. Three, two, and one. Knees to the side, knees to the side. We go out, in, out, in, good. Everything else points straight ahead except for that one leg and that one arm. Goes out, in, out, in. Excellent, keep going, two. And one more, each side. 
You know what's next, high knees. Let's go for five, four, three, two. We got little kicks coming up after this one. Let's go kick it out nice and controlled. Reach the opposite hand to the opposite toes. Stay tall, don't slouch forward. It's okay if you can't reach your toes. We've got three. Stay tall, chest up for two. And one, high knees, high knees for five. Four, three, two. Good, one more time through, back to the heel digs. Reach one, the other, reach both for two. Reach one, reach the other, reach both for two. Reach one, the other, and both for two. One, the other, and both for two. High knees for five, four, three, two. Are you ready to take the knees to the side? Go one, the other, both arms for two, one, the other, both arms for two, yes, one, the other, and both for two, last time, one, the other, and both for two, high knees for five, four, three, two, and finish with the kicks. Ready, kick it out for eight, seven, six, no fancy arms this time, just keep going. Five, four, nice work, three, two, you got it. One more time, march it out on the spot, take a deep breath, exhale. Keep marching, three more big deep breaths. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and hold. Shoulders back and down. Nice work. Woo. Take a minute, catch your breath. Awesome. Plant those feet right underneath you. Sit to stands. Let's get it done. Hinge at the hips, shimmy halfway up your chair. Use your hands either on your armrests, on the top of your thighs, or reaching forward to get yourself up. Hinge at the hips. Again, use your armrests, use your thighs, reach for your chair, whatever feels good. Just make sure that chair is there when you go to sit down. Make sure it is in place. If you're working on a hard surface, or your chair might slide at all. Put it against the wall so it doesn't slide for you. Up and down, smooth and controlled. Do not collapse into the chair on the way down. Control that descent using the strength of your muscles. All the way up, all the way down, full control. Good, use your arms as you need to. It's not cheating. It's using what you got, right? Yes, excellent. A couple more and that should be enough. Let's stay standing on this one. Let's everybody up. Awesome, good. <laughs> All right, make your way behind your chair. Grab yourself a sip of water. Excellent work. We're gonna do some standing work now to challenge our balance and to continue to strengthen the muscles in our lower body. All right, are you ready? Behind your chair, or maybe you've got your walker or the wall or the countertop is an excellent spot to do these exercises. Countertop at the sink, nice and sturdy, good level, um, good height, awesome. All right, I'm gonna stand beside my chair so you can see me. Feet under your hips. Toes forward, knees forward, and not locked out. So give them a little wiggle. Good. And then go ahead, anchor that tailbone down, lift the belly button up, feel everything tighten, zip, 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 shoulders back 
and down. Right now you feel strong, you feel steady. Nobody could move you. Perfect, good. Are you ready to lift those heels? Right up, right down. Heels come straight up and down. Up and down. Perfect. If it feels safe for you to let go of whatever you're hanging on to, you can add a reach with one hand, reach with the other hand for four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, shake that out. Get back into that good posture again. Now, opposite. We're gonna stretch those calves out just a little bit while we strengthen the front. Soften up the knees. Anchor, lift. Awesome. Pull the toes back on one foot and down. Other foot and down. Cautiously, carefully, both feet, toes come up and down for two. Yes, we've got one, the other, and both for two. We've got one, the other and both for two. We've got one, the other and both for two. One more time, one, the other and both for two. Nice work, that's not easy. Straighten up, heel lifts. This time, if it's safe for you to let go of your chair with one hand, reach for the side. Reach for the side. And if that feels safe, follow your hand with your head. So now you're changing <laughs> where you're looking. We all know it's easier to balance if we focus on something in front of us. We don't want this to be easy. If you need more challenge, turn your head. Because really in life, we don't always, rarely do we just focus on one thing straight ahead of us. We're always looking around. We should be looking around. We wanna be able to balance. <laughs> we wanna be steady. Last one. Awesome, good. Go ahead, step back into your lunge position and enjoy that nice stretch through the muscles we just worked. Nice calf stretch there. And then square up the hips and give them a little tuck. Press that hip bone forward by tucking the tailbone under. Get a nice hip opener, calf stretch, balance work right here for five, four, three, two, and one. Blast off that back foot up to standing. Other leg goes back. Same thing, press the heels down, nice calf stretch, lunge into it, use your chair for support, square up your hips, and then tuck it under, press this hip bone forward, breathe, excellent. For three, two, one, Blast off to standing. Okay, we're going back again, but I want you to make your lunge smaller. So not so big, we're not emphasizing the stretch here, but we're getting into a bit of a split stance. And from here, we're gonna lift that back heel up and down. Seven, six, five, right up onto the ball of that back foot for four, Three, this is walking. Yeah, we gotta be able to do this to walk properly. Last one, keep the heel up, bend the knees down and up, not forward. Go down and up for four, three, two, and one, awesome. Get your feet underneath you, shake that out. I'm just gonna let someone into class. Whoops, where'd you go? Come back. Awesome, <laughs> good, okay, perfect. Other leg, same idea. So we're going into a lunge, but not a big lunge. 
Front knee is bent and we're focusing on the mobility and strength in that back ankle, rising up onto the ball of the foot, pressing our shoelaces forward. Excellent. For five, four, good. Keeping the hips under, belly button or lifted, abs braced, chest up. Last one, I think. Keep that heel up and then we bend the knees. You're almost putting your weight back. Definitely not putting the weight forward. We just want to go straight down and up. Equal weight in the front and back leg. If anything, a little more weight into that back leg. You got it. Three more. Two more. Lots of balance, lots of strength. Last one. Nice work. Good. Shake it all out. Whew. Stand with your feet wider than your hips. Check in with those knees. Make sure they're not locked out. Tuck it under. Lift it up. Open it up. Hands on your hips. Power stance. Strong, steady. If you need to keep your hands on your walker or your chair or your countertop, that's fine too, but you're still powerful. You're still strong. Yes, perfect. From here, use these muscles. Feel them just shorten, tighten, squeeze as you twist. And then on the other side, they squeeze as you twist. Side to side, keeping the hips tucked under. The belly button lifted. Chest lifted. Shoulders back and down. Knees bend slightly. And you're breathing. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. We're halfway there. Let's go for four. Three more. Good. Two more. Yes, one more. Other side. Back to center. Fantastic. Bring your feet underneath you. I want you to take a deep breath and I want you to keep your arms up overhead. Oops, can you see me? There we are. Keep your arms up overhead. How does that feel? If it's painful, drop it down a little bit. We're gonna get right into these abdominal muscles here with our arms overhead, high knees, all right? So oftentimes we've got our hands here and if you need to keep your hands down or you need to hold on, that's fine. Lifting those knees up is going to get into the abdomen. But if you can lengthen the abdomen by lifting the arms up, it's gonna make it more challenging. And remember, we want things to be more challenging when it comes to working out. So go ahead, arms up or down, you decide. Knee up and down, up and down. How's the balance? Two and one. Remember our pattern for today, it's up and up and two and one. Awesome, one. The other for two and one. Are you starting to feel it? <laughs> one and the other. Keep the hips tucked under. Two and one. Good. It's one. Keep breathing. The other two and one more time. It's one. The other two and one. Awesome, shake it out. <laughs> you might've felt that more in the shoulders than you did in the side here. I don't know, I felt it in the side, but yes, those shoulders were working hard too. Grab yourself a quick sip of water and grab your weights and meet me back in your chair again, if you'd like. If you wanna stay standing, that's fine too for most of these exercises. You've got two, three, four, five, six, eight pound weights, whatever feels good for you. If you've got a variety, maybe you've got a couple sets close by. 
I'm not gonna tell you how much weight to use. You're gonna use amount of weight. That feels challenging, but still doable with good form, okay? Make sure you've got good form before you consider using a heavier weight. Shoulders back and down. We're gonna start with bicep curls because those are probably one of the easier exercises to check in your form, okay? Most people are familiar. Palms are forward, tailbone is down, ribs stay anchored. So we're not arching into our back. That puts a lot of strain onto our vertebrae there. We don't want that. Keep those vertebrae stacked on top of each other. Are you ready? Let's go. It's up and down. Just a basic bicep curl. Elbows stay down by your sides. Perfect. Today we're going to be working the upper body by adding on an exercise each time. So we've got four more bicep curls and then we add on three, two, last one, stay up, stay up. We punch, we rotate so the knuckles face up and then we bring it back in, other side. And then both, if you can, for two, Gonna be a lot harder and one if that felt too intense just keep alternating one and the other okay or you can go two and one awesome one the other two and one last time one the other two and one. Okay, bring it in, bring it down, shake it out, take a little break, we build on. Okay, just sets of six now. If I can remember to count and add on and do all the things. <laughs> but here's the plan. We're on our sit bones, ribs are anchored, spine is long, we've got six, five, Four, three, two, hold it up for one. We go one, the other, and two, and one. Good. One, the other, two, and one more time. One, the other, two, and one. Bring it in, we're adding on. Palms are up, elbows are at 90, elbows stay in, and we squeeze the pencil between our shoulder blades and bring it back in. Five more, rotating from the shoulders, feeling your shoulder blades come together, squeeze, release, squeeze, Release, two, and one. Excellent, release. Okay, shake it out. We're adding on just four this time, just sets of four. Adding on, set of four. Let's go, four bicep curls, three, two, Keep it up there for one and we punch and we punch for two and one. Good, we've got one, the other, two and one, all the way back in, palms up, elbows 90. We've got four, squeeze those shoulder blades, three, two, and one, excellent, down, palms are facing in, elbows lead out to the side, and down for four, three, little bit of an angle, two, and one, excellent, shake it up. We're just gonna do two until we get to the last exercise, which focuses on those triceps. 
focuses on those triceps, at which point we're gonna hold it and do 10. 10 will be good. Palms forward, shoulders back and down, ribs are anchored. Here we go for two and one. Keep it up there. One, the other, two. And one, elbows in, palms up, shoulders down. We've got two and one. Excellent, bring it down, palms in. We've got two and one. Excellent, hinge forward, pull it to the top of the hip bones, squeeze your elbows together. Kick it back for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Sitting up nice and tall. Great work. Set your weights down. Take a deep breath. Exhale, shoulders down. Palms in front, lift that right knee up to the hand, extend the right heel to the ground, stretch the arm away, knee up and extend for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, other side, lift the knee up, stretch that heel to the ground. Heel to the ground, hand to the sky. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice, feet down, deep breath, inhale, stretch up, exhale, shake it out. Awesome, good, sitting tall, reach behind you, grab the back of the chair, bring your shoulders back and down. Breathe easy. Exhale. Wonderful. If it feels okay for you and never force your body into a stretch or into a position that doesn't feel good, but if it does feel good, go ahead and walk your hands up, up your back of your chair there and hinge forward a little bit and see if that stretch gets just a little bit more intense. Awesome. And then walk it all the way down to the side of your chair, anchoring the ribs, anchoring your shoulders down into their happy place. And then just a little chin tuck to lengthen out the back of your neck and turn to the right and hold. And turn to the left and hold. And then from here, just take your nose down towards that armpit. And just let the weight of your head be the stretch into the back of your neck along the side. And then slowly let the weight of your head roll forward. And stop when your nose is pointing towards your other armpit. And hold. You can slowly roll your head to center and draw a line with your nose to come up. Sitting tall, take a deep breath, reach the arms up overhead and bring them together and behind your head. Spread your elbows wide to open through the chest and then tuck your chin in to put a little resistance, a little pressure into your hands from the back of your head. 
breathe here. Excellent, and release. The arms come down, wiggle that out a little bit. Take your hands to the top of one leg. Let's get into a nice hamstring stretch here. I like to come right up to the edge of my chair, but just make sure you're still on there. You've got your heel down on the floor. I'll move back so you can see. That's better. Heel on the floor, toes pointing up. Equal weight in your sit bones. Lengthen through the spine and hinge forward slowly. Perfect. Imagine you've got a meter stick running down your spine and every vertebrae is touching that meter stick. You might find that as you continue to breathe, you can release and go a little deeper into that stretch. But again, don't force it. Fantastic. Come on up when you're ready and switch. Heel to the floor. Don't let it drop off to the side. Be intentional. Toes pointing up. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, hinge forward. Keeping your head above your heart. Creating as much length from the top of your head to your tailbone as possible. Wonderful, come on up slowly, plant your feet underneath you. And when you're ready, stand up nice and tall. Exhale, bring your hands down into the small of your lower back. Fingertips are pointing down towards the floor and you're just gonna almost just kind of gently, not, nothing crazy of course, but just kind of pop the hips forward, open through those hip flexors using your hands as a bit of a brace. And then also try to bring your elbows a little closer together behind you and get a little bit more shoulder stretch there. Good, standing up straight again, take one hand with that palm, press it down to the floor. Other hand presses up to the ceiling. And switch. One to the ceiling, one to the floor, getting that stretch from palm to palm. Release. You can link your hands together in front or one over the other. Separate your shoulder blades. Yeah, so you're not really rounding your back, but you're just kind of pulling your shoulder blades apart. You can feel that in those upper traps. Good, release, spread your hands wide, big open arms. Exhale, deep breath in. Exhale, give yourself a clap. Way to go, well done. Congratulations on completing another great workout.